Hello everyone, this is Joe for Soft Corners here, and for today's video, um, I'm going to be, um, this is a contest uh, win from Alan over at uh, Collecting Maddox. Um, so I just opened everything, I didn't get to the, he threw in some extras here, I did not get to that yet, but, um, so everything... We'll just start off with this. <laughs> it says, hey, Joe, thanks again for all of your support. Again, why does anyone even try when you enter a contest? Enjoy opening a few packs, and I threw in a few extras. Thanks, Alan. So <clears throat> really appreciate it, Alan. And um, uh, he's been teasing me, and I hope just teasing. <laughs> uh, but I, you know, have been pretty lucky in these, and I have to admit I, I have been... Um, I try and, you know, just support as many people as I can. And they, like, along the way, I've been very lucky in, so, in um, you know, um, winning some of these contests. So, uh, but, so we'll get into the extras first. And then, um, I know he said for quite some time, he has not opened anything, but um, part of his way of restraining or refraining from opening anything is to live vicariously through others opening stuff. So I will be more than happy to do that for you. Um, but so we'll see what these extras are. I appreciate all of this, especially, um, like I said, <coughs> extras, which were not necessary. Um, this was to celebrate, um, Alan hitting 100 subscribers and he's almost at 110 now, I believe. So, um, uh, for Darren's, uh, uh, contest, I shouted Alan out in that as well. Um, so, um, whether you saw that one or are watching this one, um, you know, head on over there and, um, uh, subscribe and check out his channel. Just a lot of cool stuff. And, um, great cards to see so start off with uh philly's hologram that's awesome so it's from 91 upper deck can never have enough of these um i'll leave that pull these one at a time um 94 flare uh darren dalton I believe these were just the all-star cards yep uh these were the all-stars so just awesome set design there with the American flag in the background goes great with the Phillies colors um, and who doesn't love a good mullet so uh, that's really cool uh, 94 flare um, league leaders is for run scored for Lenny Dykstra had an awesome 93 season 143 runs it's these cards are awesome uh, from 90, I just think it was 92, but I guess it's 93 upper deck. Um, this is the Padres four corners. So let's see, obviously I'm pretty sure he sent in because of the Gwyn, but then you also have McGriff, uh, Gary Sheffield, boy. So first, no, that is not. Phil Plantier. I probably would not have got that no matter how long I, I looked at it, but um, so those are really cool cards. Uh, awesome. Another, the all-star, the Tony Gwynn. Love that one. Like I said, just love that design. 94 Flair. I remember opening a lot of as a kid and just um, had a, a lot of cool inserts in that. Again, another one from that set is the provisions um i did a video a while back showing um the, the nine cards in the set um make one big picture i might do that again because uh, when i did it the first time I, I know a lot of people did not know that it made um basically one big picture um so i might do that one again just because it was a lot of fun so love that <clears throat> on to the second one now I just, any of the stuff from the 90s is just so, uh, 
nostalgic. Um, here's the other hologram. This is from 92 Upper Deck. Oh, nice. This is um, it's from 2023 Tops. I believe this is the rainbow foil. So I think there's just the base rainbow foil and then the gold. So this is the base. I'm not sure if it's just called rainbow or if it's called silver rainbow, but of Alec Bone. Do not have a lot of stuff from 2023 Tops, but do love the design. Um, so that's an awesome addition there. I believe this is 2023 Bowman, Reese Hoskins. Again, do not have a lot of newer stuff because I also don't um, open much or anything. It's a nice one there. Uh, do not have much of Trey Turner in a Phillies uniform, so that's awesome. Lots of nice stuff for the PC here. And... <coughs> I don't know. I'm assuming you just wanted to try and have me pronounce. Oh, first off, let's see. New Zealand. Okay. Let's go with Nikau Payuka Grego. Not sure, but <laughs> nice first Bowman. Um, I do not know about him shortstop but first bowmans are always nice and uh so great extras there thank you for that alan and then um we'll get into these boxes so let's just do one at a time i believe i opened one blaster this last year and this is going to shock you i know but i believe i've opened one blaster and did pull an autograph <laughs> i think it was a brett Beatty autograph uh, so let's see what we can Heritage is always fun. Um, this is in the 74 design. Uh, and <clears throat> there's a lot of a lot of things they do for Heritage that's really cool. Like um, they uh, try and mirror things that were done in the original set. So um, I believe they try and mirror a lot of the images and stuff like that of the players. Um, based off the teams and somebody from like a certain team that was a uh, you know a certain card number in the original set so um, so here we go Dominic Smith Miles Mikolas always love a good mustache Javier Baez I'll have to um, Framber Valdez e I know for a while, like, the action ones were easy, but now they put a lot of action shots in. They used to be SPs, um, photo variations, um, Charlie Morton, Kenley Jansen, but definitely hard to tell now because they put a lot more in. So two awesome cards back-to-back -back here, New Age Performers, Adley Rutschman. He's a guy I would definitely like to maybe start a little PC of. He just... As far as um, just, I mean, very talented, and um, you know, on top of that, uh, just seems like he has a great attitude. I know there was a clip, um, I believe, when he first got called up, he just the first time he went behind the plate, or yeah, behind the plate to catch, just kind of spun around and took took in the sights and sounds of the stadium, just to you know, kind of take it all in and just for anybody to, to take that time to do that it's just really cool to me so and followed up with a nice Corbin Carroll <clears throat> like I said the in the past something like that I would think would be an action SP but um, they do mark on the back now whether they are or not um, try and see as we go to I think I think it's cards 401 and above would be um, SPs Carlos Rodon. Just trying to look as I go. Graham Ashcraft, rookie. Uh, Logan Gilbert. Uh, Andrew Benintendi. Hayden Wesneski. Uh, 
Ivan Herrera. Logan Webb. Ezekiel Tobar. Our rookies. Jeter Downs. So, I said a lot of rookies, and definitely happy to pull that. Corbin Carroll, he's another really young player that's really fun to watch. David Hensley, Zach McKinstry. <clears throat> Here is the 2022 stolen base leaders of Jorge Mateo and John Birdie. I believe I had Mateo on a few um, fantasy rosters, so I would have been able to tell you that, but most people probably couldn't tell you that that's who had the league in steals in 2022 between those two names. Um, oh, this is a really cool all-star card here of uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. and Aaron Judge. So, <clears throat> now I'm trying to think if they had. My thought was that there was a similar all-star card as that card number in the 74 set, but I don't know if they did all-stars like that. So, uh, Ben Deluzio, uh, rookie. Daniel Lynch, Reed Detmers, the rookie cup there. Those are always fun to pull. And I believe that is a short print, card 404. Ian Happ, had him on both um, fantasy baseball rosters I had last year. And Jose Miranda, um, didn't put up like a ton of counting numbers, counting stats, but um, for leagues that have like on base percentage and some of the, you know, stats like that. He was very valuable. So, Luis Guillorme. Uh, Lorenzo Cain. Waldo Cabrera. Louis Varland. Ozzy Albies. Always a fun player to uh, watch. So it was a Patrick Sandoval. Oh, I can't remember. No, I don't think this is. I thought this was going to be some kind of short printer error, but I'm pretty sure they just. I don't know if it because it couldn't fit the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. So I think they just opted to not put anything there, which I know is weird. I have to look that up for sure, but I'm pretty sure that was the case. Uh, here's a then and now is an insert, I believe, yep, of uh, Lou Brock and John Birdie. Miles Straw and Joe Musgrove. Um, this is a product I don't know for sure when it come out this year, but I probably would not mind um, picking some of it up. Just with the 75 design, really interested to see how that looks. I think it'll be a really fun product. At least just, you know, maybe pick up some singles. Um, it was a nice rookie of Justin Steele. Um, uh, another all-star card, uh, Jazz Chisholm Jr. and Jose Altuve. Uh, Cade Cavale. Uh, Jordan Diaz. Is it O'Neill Cruz? No, he had a broke his leg last year. I think that's what it was. So interested to see how we'll be able to come back because he was really exciting the year before. JP Crawford, Nick Pavetta, uh, Mickey Lopez, and Evan Longoria. Weights. He said ton of rookie cards. Alec Burleson. Luis Robert. It's easier just to check as it go for either short prints for the card number or uh, here's a Jerickson profile. I believe they 
think they write in around the number if there's any kind of uh, SP type thing or variation or something. Here's a nice Nolan Gorman rookie. Corey Kluber, I believe retired in this offseason, officially. Cal Quantrill, I believe that's a short print card, 429. Alex Call, rookie. And nice Freddie Freeman. Two more packs in this one, and we have one more box. William Hendricks, Taylor Ward, Josh Rojas, Jesus Aguilar, Glaber uh, Torres. There's a nice Alec Bohm for the PC. Uh, New Age Performers, Tristan Casas. That's an insert. Brandon Nimmo. And Chris Bassett. So as I thought about it, Al, <clears throat> I'm assuming the action, the reason there weren't action SPs in years prior is because they're trying to, like I said, I feel like they're trying to mirror the original set so I'm not sure when exactly maybe once so I guess it would be 71 I'm trying to think if there was um I'm trying to think if there was like the action SP SP action variations and or trying to think if there were action shots in 1970 tops i know 71 really took off with it so i'm assuming when once that set is i, I feel like they're trying to Im mirror the original set so now i have my mind <laughs> twisted like a pretzel right now but um here's the aaron judge uh new al home run king card so that's a really cool one that's card number one in the set to Try and mirror the <coughs> Hank Aaron card from the 74 set with the Home Run King. Um, Josh Smith. Um, Brandon Lau, I believe. I know there was... I think it both used to be on the Angels at the same time. Brandon, I think it was Lau and Nathaniel Lowe. I know one was pronounced Lau, one was pronounced Lowe. I think I got it right, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Rugnet Odor, Chris Bryant, uh, Herman Marquez, Luis Ortiz, and close that one out with a Randy Rosarena. So, nice card there. Um, so, uh, you know, nothing huge out of that one, but just fun in general to open packs and, um, Really happy to have one of those Aaron Judge cards. That's a <clears throat> just a really cool card in general. Um, just with, I I mean well, whether or not you know what your opinions are. I mean. Barry Bonds is still the home run king <laughs> and you know I mean I guess that's they put AL because I, I, mean, I think so McGuire and yeah so nobody beat it in the NL or yeah nobody beat it outside of the NL 61 but um it's still a cool card in general um so start this box off with a Nolan Jones um very excited to see I had him on both my fantasy rosters last year. Uh, G-Man Choi. Um, so excited to see what Nolan Jones can do this year. Here's a Miguel Cabrera. It's always nice to add one of him. We won't even speak of that one. <laughs> uh, Andrew Chafin. Always a fine mustache. Ezekiel Duran. Here's from the 2022 World Series, Game 6, 
the Astros and Phillies. So not super excited for that one, although I believe it is a short print. Jaron Duran and Tyrone Taylor. So at least so far seeing totally different names, so that's always good. Oh, here's another. So <clears throat> this is another thing they did with Aaron Judge to mirror the um, 74 set because uh, they had the Hank Aaron special cards showing his run of Topps cards. I believe they did four of them to a card, though. So I guess just because he doesn't have as many, they just did two. So And I, I guess right after the Home Run King card that um, uh, they went on with that run of cards so JJ Blade rookie uh, here's the other <laughs> well I believe this one's low and I think Brandon is Lau so, Elvis Andrews Tyler O'Neill uh, Jose Butto rookie here's the flashbacks to 1974 Dow hits lowest level in 12 years so let's see, um, insert, Aaron Hicks, and uh, Manny Machado, so nice star there. All right, so Kevin Gaussman, Brian De La Cruz, Jazz Chisholm Jr., Carlos Santana. It's card 400. I think that's just the last card of the. Oh, cool. Um, last card of the regular base cards before their SPs. Uh, Charlie Blackman. And then, very fitting here, we pulled a relic. And it's of. Uh, a Philly and Kyle Schwarber so and it's we have just a little bit of the red pinstripe in there so um, at least not just completely white so pretty cool pull there Martin Maldonado and Jorge Soler Five packs left in this one. Uh, Taryn Vabra, rookie. <clears throat> Mackenzie Gore. Lamont Wade. Uh, Max Kepler. Nick Senzel. David VR, Daniel Bard, I believe that's a short print, uh, Bryce Johnson, and nice one here for me and Adam Wainwright, I have a little PC of Wainwright, so um, one up there, always like pulling his cards, always love the look on his cards with the, the high socks like that. Cool Andrew McCutcheon here. Always love pulling cards. Him, Jose Urquidy, uh, Trey Mancini. Completely forgot or did not know he was on the Cubs. <laughs> uh, Peyton Burdick, uh, Rafael Ortega, uh, Byron Buxton. It's a cool shot there on that card. Brett Beatty, New Age Performers. Uh, Justin Turner. And David Peralta. Okay, three packs left. Start off with a pretty nice one here. Michael Harris Jr. Rookie card and rookie cup. 
Ron D. Contreras. <clears throat> uh, Carlos Carrasco. There's a nice Mike Trout. Yeah, I believe just, uh, there you see, all the Angels cards. I kind of forgot about that. Just all the Angels cards just don't have anything on them. It's kind of weird. Uh, David Fletcher. Ramon Laureano. Uh, Ryan McMahon. Marcus Wilson. And Leover Piguero. So, two packs left. Geraldo Perdomo, Joe Ryan, he's a pretty good young pitcher, Jorge Lopez, Will Smith, Leode Tavares, Jonathan India, Brandon Drury, I believe that one's a short print. You Darvish and Jose Barrios. Last pack. <clears throat> so Alan, regardless of you know what comes out of here or came out of here, this is just a lot of fun and appreciate um, the opportunity to open these. Um, really cool, Aaron Nola there. I do not believe I have that one, so it's a nice one for the um, PC. Patrick Corbin, Cal Stevenson, rookie. Uh, here's the 2022 leading fireman. I know that was definitely um, the title of the saves leaders from 74. So there's Emmanuel Classe and Kenley Jansen. Uh, Colton Wong, Mark Connor. Kenna. Uh, what was the end with this one? Then Drew Smiley. Caleb Killian, rookie. And this is a pretty cool insert to end with. This is 74 flashbacks. Well, just flashbacks. And then Seaver becomes highest paid pitcher. So, nice shot of Tom Seaver there. 172,500 hours. <laughs> huh. Crazy the difference. So, um, that's a cool insert there. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, just kind of do a little cap. Uh, you know, the best rookies that came out here, the, uh, Michael Harris, rookie card, rookie cup, and a Corbin Carroll. Nice, those two. Um, I like this rookie insert of Adley Rutschman, the New Age Performers. Um, it's a really cool card here with the Aaron Judge new AL Home Run King card. And like I said, just really cool PC hit with this um, Clubhouse Collection. Jersey relic of Kyle Schwarber. So, I said, if you have not, please go over and check out Alan at Collecting Mannix. Um, just like I said, um, just has a great channel, uh, great collection, and um, just a great supporter of so many channels as well. So um, <clears throat> I said, just uh, go over, check him out. I'll, link will be in the description below. Alan, I appreciate this. Um, appreciate the contest you put on and you sending this stuff out. Um, the extras is all super cool stuff for all PC stuff here for the Gwyn and Phillies collection. I'm not 100% sure on the 94 Flair stuff, all the newer stuff I know I definitely don't have. And um, just really appreciative of all this, man. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you everyone else for watching. And just remember, any card can be a great looking card, even if it's four soft corners. Thank you.